My name's Norman Neiman. I'm just a farmer northeast of Palmyra. In July, 78-year-old Norman Neiman started a rehab stint at the Ambassador in Lincoln, trying to regain his strength after an injury. And things didn't go so smooth at first. He was a very difficult person. He was grumpy, I don't know, grumpy old man. His nurse, Tracy Richardson, needed a way to connect with her patient. And football became a topic of conversation, especially the Malcolm Clippers. Tracy's boyfriend has a son on the team, like wide receiver nice. Tucker McHugh. The Clippers had their best season in school history, advancing the state semifinals for the first time. And one of the most memorable moments, this catch by Tucker McHugh. Look familiar? So I ran my 10 yards, I got the 12 and broke down. And when I turned, the ball was there. I heard that he had been following us. He had rosters in his room and he kept asking, like, was it cold? What was the score? How'd our boy do, I guess? He'd really taken an interest in me, which was really fun to see. And I knew somehow I had to reach out to him just to say thank you, and I thought it'd be cool if we could do something that would welcome in, him into the Clipper family a little bit. Norman kept tabs on the Clippers, and the Clippers kept tabs on Norman, eventually paying him a visit and giving him his own personalized jersey. He just, you know, got a little pep in his step, and he wanted to get up and get out of bed and participate in therapy and go out to meals. I thought it was pretty nice. I, I didn't expect it at all. I didn't expect this either. And they got the name spelled right. That's impressive. That's the first thing I looked at, well, the name spelled right. The team visited Norman again at Christmas time with gifts to give. Yeah. Proof that sometimes we find inspiration in unlikely places. Reporting in Lincoln, Peter Terpstra, Channel 8 Eyewitness News, Sports.